still uh, smoking. And I didn't tell him. The Holy Spirit spoke to him. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you love God, you'll stop smoking. I took those cigarettes and threw them in the trash when I thought about that. Amen. And I just thank God for that day, at that time of deliverance, mm -hmm. that let me know I was supposed to be here at Agape. Amen. And so many more other deliverances, mm -hmm. but it's time for the pastor to give the word now, so I'm going to let the pastor give the word. Mm -hmm. I'm introducing to you our pastor, Elder Renzel James Field, mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some praise. Come on, praise him in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Praise him in the ferment of his power. You, Let everything that have breath, hallelujah, come on and breathe and give God praise. Thank Amen. You. Hallelujah. Thank Let everything that have breath, Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We've come to magnify. Yes, hallelujah. To lift up. Hallelujah. 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 Many dangers, toils, and snares. We've already come. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Bitter colds. Amen. Highs and lows. Yes, hallelujah. But we thank God that we're in God's house today. Yeah. And we come, amen, not for form or fashion, but we come to lift up Jesus. Amen. amen. How many come to lift him up this morning? Hallelujah. How many come to lift up Jesus hallelujah. this morning? Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. hallelujah. You may be seated. We just thank, thank God, amen, for an opportunity. Hallelujah. Just another chance, Amen. hallelujah, to give God praise, yes. hallelujah. So many people in so many different countries are not allowed, amen, even to praise God, to utter the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. amen, hallelujah. Terrorists are going around killing folk yes. because, amen, they name the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. hallelujah. They're losing their lives, amen, they're going through whole cities, killing them. Amen. Hallelujah. Folk, because they love the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And we here, amen, are free yes. to say thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And we let our circumstances, we let, amen, hallelujah, the weather, man, we let everybody, the boss on the job, hallelujah, hallelujah, dictate to us when we're going to praise God. Hallelujah. 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 I have worked as a cook, amen, in most restaurants. The busiest day was Sunday, mm -hmm. amen. So I had to work on Sunday. That's why I told the God, babe, you'll never hear a complaint from me if you got to work. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. If a man don't work, he don't eat. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I labor. Amen. You got to labor. Amen. In this world. And sometimes you have to work on Sunday. Man, I tell you, the things I was called. Amen. Because I went to church on Sunday. I mean, because I went to work on Sunday. Hallelujah. I don't go. I'm not going to work on no. Hallelujah. That's the Lord's day. I say every day God's day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't, wait, I don't have to wait till Sunday to give God some praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I'll be at work and I know at 11 o'clock, amen, they start singing Sweet Hour Prayer. And while I'm at work, I'm going Sweet Hour. Hallelujah. I'm having work right there. A prayer. I know they're going to read Psalms 122. Hallelujah. So I'll say, I was glad when they said unto me, I let us go into the house. So I had church all by myself. Amen. I'm flipping burgers, having church. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And it wasn't too long after that that the Lord opened up a door. Amen. For me. Amen. Every job, especially the ones when they said, Amen, you will not get Sunday off. Amen. Hallelujah. I let them know ahead of time. Amen. Um, a deacon or minister or whatever the case might have been. Amen. And I would like to be in church on Sunday. Well, sir, Sunday's our business day. You can't. So you don't get Sunday off. Amen. Hallelujah. A couple of rises and settings of the sun, and I was at church on Sunday morning. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. You can't let what people speak over your life, amen, affect your life. Amen. You know who you live for. Amen. Man, woman, you might write that check. Your name might be on it when I cash it. Hallelujah. But you don't govern my life. Hallelujah. My life is in God's hands. And he He made that check. He made the ink. He made the paper that you, you, you printed that check on. He made the printer. He made the plastic. Amen. He made the ingredients. Amen. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's, in other words. Hallelujah. The fullness of the world. And when you say stuff, you got to be careful what you're saying to God's folk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Certainly, we just thank God for God's people being here today. Those that are watching via our YouTube channel, Amen, Agape Web TV, those that are listening, 
Amen. Hallelujah. Over our conference call line. Amen. And we're just grateful that the, we have modern mediums. Amen. For people to get into worship. Amen. Hallelujah. No matter what happens. Amen. If you can't get to church, church can come to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And we thank God for our friends and visitors that are here today here at Agape. We got some family church members. Amen. That are, amen. Out sick and different things going on. Amen. But we just thank God. That we're here. If you're here via our phone or, or TV or, or or you're here in present, we're all here together. Amen. Amen. We're here with one and with one purpose. Amen. It was in the same place with one accord. Yes. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost came. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're just grateful to the Lord that Amen. We are here together with one accord yes. to worship the Lord. The Lord gave me a thought, Amen, to give to the people for today. Amen. Talking about love. We've been talking about love. Amen. This is a season of love. Amen. Hallelujah. Romance. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, what 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 God always, amen, sets up for a spiritual reason, amen. The devil will always look to defile. Amen. Right. amen. He's the opposite of God. Amen. amen. He's God's enemy. He's your enemy. Hallelujah. Jesus looked at Peter and said, Satan desired to have you and to sift you. To shake you up, to mess you up, to wreck you up, yes. mess your life up. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As wheat, he said, but I'm praying that your faith fell up not. I know if I was Peter, I'd be like, Lord, don't pray. Take care of that devil. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your prayer. Hallelujah, but bust that rascal up. Amen. <laughs> Do something with that devil. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But Jesus said, I pray that your faith. Because it's not about what the devil's doing to you. Right. Amen. James said, count on all joy when you fall into divers temptation for the trying of your faith. Work with patience. So every hit that the devil hits you with is making you stronger. Amen. amen. I had a goddaughter. Amen. Uh, her mama told me, he said, talk to her because she's getting in a fight every day in school. And I said, oh, come here, baby. I said, you fighting in school? Yeah, this girl. You know, she just, she just hurt my nerve. I said, what did she do? She ain't do nothing. I just don't like her. And so she would fight her. And I said, I said, uh, so you fight her every day? I said, yeah. I said, I mean, don't mean she beat you up and stuff? Well, she said, no, she can't beat me. I said, guess what? Every day you beat her, you teaching her how you fight. I said, so at some point, amen, the tables will be turned. Amen. So you got to be careful. Amen. Hallelujah. A couple of months later, uh, she came back, God, daddy, I ain't fighting that girl no more. <laughs> I don't think it was the Lord, amen? <laughs> Girlfriend turned the tables, amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So every time that devil hits you, you you think you might think what he does is going to overtake you. It's not. It's more of us than it is of them. It's great as he that's in us than he that is in the world. Amen. That's the devil. He wants you to think that it's going to take you out. The thief coming not but to kill, steal, and destroy. But he said, I am coming. Amen. Christ have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to lift up the subject this morning. Love lifted me. Love lifted Amen. Me. Hallelujah. Satan to defile love. Amen. He wants to change love into lust. Amen. Hallelujah. Valentine's Day was an honorable day. Amen. Given to St. Valentine, who was an amen, religious leader at the time in the, uh, the Roman conquering other uh, worlds and nations. Amen. And the young men, they wanted them to fight with veracity. Amen. With nothing to live for. Amen. And so they wanted them to be single. Amen. They wanted them to have families and wives and because they might hold back a little bit or run home. Amen. <laughs> I ain't got to fight. I got a wife and kids. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So they, the, the Roman army didn't want the, the young men getting married. But St. Valentine said, y'all can't be shacking, y'all can't be just, amen. If y'all in love, get married. And so that's why we have St. Valentine, amen. It was done by, amen, a righteous man doing a righteous deed. But now it's about chocolates and candy and, amen, all love and romance. and have nothing to do with, amen, doing what's right <laughs> in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It's doing what's wrong in the eyes of everybody. Lord have mercy. Anyway. Anyway, hallelujah. But we just thank God. I was going to quote that movie that they're always talking about today. Amen. If they promoted Jesus like they promote, amen, that, that, that nonsense. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. That's what the devil's promoting. Amen. You understand? Do y'all see it everywhere? I mean, how do the TV news promote movies? 
Amen. You try to find out if the snow going to bury you, and you got to hear, you know, <laughs> all these different shades. Amen. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got to hear about that for a half an hour, and I'm trying to find out, amen, if I can go outside. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. But that's the devil. That's the world. The world love their own. Right. Amen. They want to defile the kids. Amen. But they'll put that out there. And, and everybody's talking about that in the different scenes. And, and they know kids watching the news. But they, oh, let's protect our children. Then, then tell me the news. Amen. Give me the weather, sports. Amen. <laughs> and move on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So that's the devil. He wants to defile. But God wants us to lift us up. Amen. Hallelujah. And we want, he wants God to, amen. Hallelujah. God wants to lift us from where we are to where he needs us to be. So today we're talking from the subject, love lifted me. We're going to go, amen, to uh, St. John 3, 16, 17. Amen. Our church scripture. I'm going to mess with you, but amen. Only uh, Minister Miller, could, I mean, Minister uh, uh, Thomas could answer me back. Amen. The church scripture. I was going to say, what is our church scripture? We're going to go to there first. Amen. Hallelujah. And we know that's John 3, 16 and 17. Amen. Then we'll be going to Psalms 40. And if the Lord tarry and I don't talk too long, I might get to, amen, Numbers, the book of Numbers uh, 21. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. In that order. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, now we, I'm, I'm uh, people that stand up and sit down. I believe in standing up for the word, Amen. More than standing up to read it, Amen. amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I mean, some folks stand up and then, Amen. It's gone before they've gone out the door, Amen. Hallelujah, <laughs> Hallelujah. By the benediction, they only know what the scripture was, Amen. <laughs> hallelujah. But they stood up and read it, Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. That's good respect to honor God's word, but honor it after service, Amen. 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 So St. John 316, 314, I'm going to start at the 14th verse. If you have it, amen. say amen. amen. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And whosoever believeth in him should not what? Perish, but have eternal life. For God so what? Love the world. the world. Not not sin. Not 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 what we do against God. Not not the blasphemy. Amen. Hallelujah. He loved what he created. He looked, the Genesis 1 tells us that he looked at everything that he created. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And behold, it was all uh, good. Amen. So God knows, amen, everything that he made was good in the way that he made it to work was good. Amen. amen. And the man came along, Satan came along around that second chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. Second chapter. Amen. The third chapter of, of, of Genesis. Amen. To, to mess up. Amen. The plan of God. But he didn't do that. Amen. He just made us stronger and better. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. So for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Hallelujah, hallelujah. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. So he's telling, John is telling, amen, amen. The people of God, hallelujah. As, as Moses lifted up the serpent, the, the brazen serpent, amen, in the wilderness, amen, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We need to lift him up. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In order to be lifted up. Amen. Hallelujah, you have to lift him up. Amen. Amen, hallelujah. They make this thing called a ladder. Y'all know what a ladder is. Amen. Hallelujah. Have y'all ever seen anybody use a ladder on the ground? Hallelujah, no. hallelujah, hallelujah. So they make the little steps and the little poles, the side poles. Amen. And you got nine foot, ten foot, twelve foot. You got all size ladders. Amen. But I don't know about you, but every time I seen a ladder used, amen, they would lift the ladder up to the level they needed to go to, and then they would climb up to. Y'all understand what I'm amen. saying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so the higher you lift up Jesus, hallelujah, the more that you make him the pinnacle of your life, hallelujah, the higher Christ can 
lift you up. You understand what I'm saying? We can go home right now. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the message right there. Hallelujah. 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 And so, amen. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, amen, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not, what, perish, but have eternal life. In this particular case, it, it saved their natural lives because Jesus, I'm just going to quote it, Amen. In 21, uh, Numbers 21, amen, hallelujah, they, they have forsake God. They got weary. The Bible says that's why I wanted to go to it, amen, because they got weary on the journey. But the, it, the crazy thing about that is, is God had just delivered them. A king came up against them, amen, and God moved in their behalf. Read that 21st chapter of Numbers in, in, during this week. That would be a blessing to you, amen. And, and they got the spoil from the city. Amen. And so after that, the Bible says they became to mumble and complain and be weary about the journey because they've been traveling, amen, from Egypt to the promised land. Amen. Even though God was blessing them along the journey, they became weary. Amen. And begin to murmur and complain. So God sent the serpents to start biting at the, at the, at the children of Israel. Amen. And they said, Lord, they said they went to Mo they were complaining to Moses and God at first. But then they went to Moses when them snakes was around. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, 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 and then, amen. They said, Moses, we, we tell God, amen, we okay now. We, we want to we wanna worship him. Amen. We want to give him praise. Right, tell him to take care of these snakes. Amen. So God said, and Moses began to pray on the behalf of the people. Amen. So even in their ignorance. Hallelujah. Even when some folks say some things that you know are deplorable. Amen. Still pray for them. I always tell folk, it's you, they show where they are. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so when people show where they are, it's not your job to condemn them where they are. Because right. God didn't condemn you where right. you was. Amen. Hallelujah. Hall I was sick and deep in sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Far from the peaceful shore. Hallelujah. So we was in sin. We were condemned. Amen. But he brought us out of darkness into his mouth. Now, what do you want to do? When you see somebody stuck in a rut, amen, hallelujah, stuck in sin, stuck in circumstances, stuck on drugs, whatever it may be, family problems, y'all know you got family members that are just as bad as cocaine. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How to get on your last, don't bring nothing positive, yeah. amen. Look to take, steal, corrupt, break, mm -hmm. hallelujah, destroy everything that's in your life. Y'all know, mm -hmm. I, I ain't got to explain that to you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, hallelujah, don't ever bring anything positive. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. hallelujah. And you can't let them, amen, pull you into where they are. Yeah. Hallelujah, because the only way you want to get them out is if you out. That's right. You can't pull them out of something you stuck in yourself. Right. Hallelujah, other than that story I told y'all about the, about the hole. Amen, hallelujah, the young man got stuck in the hole. They put a rope down and everything, tried to get him. Rope wasn't long enough. Amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. They tried their best to get that man out of that hole. Another man came along, jumped down in the hole with him. Hallelujah. He said, man, why are you coming here? You're going to be stuck like me. He said, no, nah, I fell in this hole before. I know how to get out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to help you out of here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, that's what we do. Condescend them in the Lord's state. We go down there with them in order to bring them out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you ain't delivered and you don't know how to get out, Leave that, leave that alone because you'll fall into condemnation. Oh, oh, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And you'll be lost too. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The thief come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus Christ said, I am come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So the snakes was biting at their feet and God told Moses, amen. Hallelujah. Make a brazen serpent. Put it on a, on a pole and hold it up before the people. And everybody that look up, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They will be healed. Amen. amen. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. And some didn't heal because they died. Some wouldn't even look up to the amen servant. Hallelujah to Leah. Some won't look up to Jesus and Leah. Hallelujah. They're going to hold on to what grandma told them. They're going to hold on to, amen, tradition. Hallelujah. And die in their sins. Jesus told them, amen, in John, the 8th chapter, a couple of more chapters past this. Amen. Hallelujah. They were getting on them. Jesus uh, you get record of yourself. Where's your ID? Where's your identification? Where's your certificate? Where's your diploma? Hallelujah. You have no credentials. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To say what you've been saying. Hallelujah. Jesus said, my father is my credentials. Hallelujah. My father give record of me. Hallelujah. He said, if you don't believe that I'm he, you will die in your sin. I come to save your life. 
and you getting on my case. Y'all know. Y'all had some book. You, you was coming to rescue them, and they fussing the whole time, kicking and screaming. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You come to save their life. Hallelujah. But that was your purpose. Don't get into theirs. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because you'll lose yours. Go ahead and die there. Hallelujah. 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 That's the flesh. The flesh will say, go ahead and let them die. Yeah. Hallelujah. They'll learn a lesson. Hallelujah. But some lessons you only learn once. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is a final lesson. Hallelujah. But if we come that they may have life. We speak life. Amen. We don't come with darkness. We come with life. We come to lift up God's people. Hallelujah. So John was telling, amen, the people of God. Hallelujah. As Moses lifted that serpent up in the wilderness, even so, even so, somebody say even so. Even so. Even so must the son of man, hallelujah, be lifted up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Hallelujah. That's the last thing they want you to do is to believe in Jesus Christ. The last thing they want you to do is put your trust and faith in him. Hallelujah. 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 Because the last thing the devil wants is people to have eternal life. Hallelujah. Death and hell, Revelation tells us, will be cast into the lake of fire. Satan knows his end. Hallelujah. He knows that he's going to be cast into the lake of fire. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And hell itself. I want to go to hell. That's where all the cool, that's where the big part is going to be. But baby, I'm coming to let you know. Read Revelation 20. Hallelujah. It tells you that hell is going to be cast into the lake of fire. So going to hell, amen, don't mean that you're going to have a good time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, because hell is going to hell. Hallelujah, hell is going to the lake of fire. And it's going to be destroyed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I saw a new heaven. Hallelujah, and I saw a new earth for the former things. Hallelujah, the things that you're going through right now. The former things, the sin that had you bound. Hallelujah, the former things, what the things I used to do. Hallelujah, the former things are passed away. Behold all things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. All things have become new. For God so loved this world, his love is the reason he sought to save this world. Yeah. We're not going to let the devil win. Right, right. You came into the garden and deceived Adam and Eve. You deceived Eve and, and Adam did it because Eve did it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Bone of my bone. Flesh of my flesh. Hallelujah. I don't have anybody else for me around here. Hallelujah. So if she go down, I'm going down with her. Ride or die, I'm with her. Hallelujah. That's my boo. Hallelujah. So I'm going down with her. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So he sinned also. Hallelujah, but sin came on Adam because God didn't come down, amen, through the garden. And he didn't say, Eve, well, thou. No. Right. Hallelujah, what did he say? Yeah. He said, Adam. And so, fellas, we can't blame the women. Hallelujah, we can't blame Eve. Hallelujah, because right. the Bible says, Hallelujah, God said, Adam. Hallelujah, where art thou? Hallelujah, he didn't ask her for Eve. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And Paul picked it up again and said by sin, amen, by one man did sin come into the world. Hallelujah, and death by sin. So, ladies, hallelujah. You can't get on you about that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, the men has a responsibility. Amen, they'll tell you in their house. The Bible says I'm the, I'm the man of this house. Hallelujah, well, okay, if you want to take that responsibility, then understand why you have that responsibility. Amen. You're just like Adam. Amen. You have the responsibility of righteousness in your house. Amen. It don't mean you king. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean that, amen, they're slaves to you. Hallelujah. It means that the responsibility of the salvation of your house is in your hands. Amen. amen. And it's your job, whether you know scripture or not, is to say, come on, y'all, let's go to church today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what Paul was saying. Amen. Wait till you get home and ask your husband. Hallelujah. Because your husband's supposed to have the answer. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Did he not say ask your husband when you get home? Amen. Amen. So if you're going to ask a question, then that means you know the answer. Right. That means he's, he's at church. No. All right. All right, husbands. Don't send your wife to church. Don't send your kids. Bring them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you you bring them to church and you know it. Amen. And if you don't understand it, Ask the past. That, that's what they have Bible class for. Amen. Amen. That's what Sunday school is for. Amen. Amen. We got phone numbers. I got ones all over these programs. Hallelujah. Amen. You can call and say, Pastor, when you quoted, Amen, number 21, what, what was the brazen serpent? I don't want to, because I, I want to talk to my family about it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the responsibility of the man. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not for her to be the slave. Amen. And not for the kids to be, Amen, slaves. Amen. Amen. You're supposed to train them in the word of God. Amen. Train a child in the way that should go. 
Amen. But if you're going to take that responsibility of being the man of the house, you take the responsibility to make sure that house is safe. Hallelujah, and living holy and righteous. And you can't be the, the kingpin, amen, of sin in your house. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Amen. That's, that's the men's conference. Amen. That's, that's for November. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But that's all right anyhow. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So God loved, amen, this world, not, not the sin, but he loved the world, amen, the thing that he created. Amen. Hallelujah. He created us. Amen. To worship and praise him and to give him glory. Amen. He told Adam and Eve to dress this earth. Amen. Subdue it. Amen. Make it beautiful. Amen. Hallelujah. And I told you, amen, in Bible class, we are the ornaments of the church. Amen. As he told Moses how to build the tabernacle with the gold and the brass and make God's house look beautiful, more, more beautiful than any other tent in that era during that time. Amen. Hallelujah. But today, the veil was ripped from top to bottom. We don't have to go through the tabernacle anymore. Hallelujah. We are the tabernacle. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. Lord, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's in our hearts now. Hallelujah. He's written on the table of our hearts. Oh, you don't have to wait for the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments. Yeah. Nobody has to write Ten Commandments to you anymore. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because you have it out on the inside. Yes, Hallelujah. You ain't got to go look for it nowhere. Hallelujah. You don't have to go to any college or school. Hallelujah. To receive this. No 1 800 number do you have to call. All you have to do is call on the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. God. You'll have it down on the inside. Yes, he said, My yoke is easy. My burden. Man complicated. Yeah. We make you jump through hoops, pay this, give this, do this. Hallelujah. But all you have to do is receive Jesus Christ Jesus. as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. And start living a life for him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. He said, prove me. Try me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And see when I open up the windows of heaven, pour you out a blessing. Yeah. You don't have room to receive. We Amen. put, I look at this express lane. Hallelujah. This is some nonsense. How, this is man. Hallelujah. Too much traffic on 95. Y'all know it's backed up all the time. And in, in Virginia, I'll say it on the camera. Hallelujah. And Virginia State, instead of just opening up the lanes and paying for it themselves, amen, they, they uh, trans, whatever their name is, transurban, they let trans, gave them a billion dollars to build these express lanes to charge folk, amen, for lanes that they needed in the first place. Hallelujah. But if they needed it, just open up the lanes, amen, and let people drive. Hallelujah. And I have to pay for it. They pay taxes, don't they? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that should have covered. Matter of fact, that's what you pay transurban with. Hallelujah. The state taxes. Amen. Hallelujah. So we paying for lanes that we pay for, and we paying every day to use the lanes that we pay for. That's man. That's man. But when God opens up a door, when God enlarges your territory, hallelujah, when God opens and expands your tent, there's no strings attached. No, no. So man put up toll boots in the way of God. In this way, in churches, and you got to pay and give and do, and they put money in front of your salvation, of your healing. Y'all see, y'all come on now. How do y'all seen it on TV? Y'all heard it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got this plan. And if you do this, and if you do this principle, and follow it, but I need you to send me $27. I don't know why they keep it in $27. $27. Hallelujah. And you can receive this plan. No, all you need to do is call on Jesus. You're going to need that $27. Amen. Don't put don't put a limit on God. No. Don't put a number on God. Mm -hmm. If you want an unusual deliverance, do something unusual from God. Hear what God say and give what he say again. That's right. That's right. And don't put it. I'm scarcely. I scarcely give a number. Hallelujah. Because unless the Lord give it to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you put a limit on what God can give. Will give. You'll say 27. When they got 2,500, they could have wrote a check for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you limit yourself. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. With, with games and gimmicks. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, and don't you believe the Lord? Amen. With the vision comes provision. Hallelujah. So God called you to do it. Trust him to provide for you along the journey. That's right. What I tell y'all at Agape, faith, faith will feed the journey. Faith will feed the journey. Just believe yes. God and move in what he says. Mm -hmm. and, and while you're walking by the way, he'll feed you. Hallelujah. In the fatness of the land. Amen. He'll feed you. Imagine in the sky. He'll deed you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And all the high places, the things you can't reach, he'll bring down to you. Yes. Hallelujah. He'll give you what you need. Yes. Amen. For yes. sustenance in your life. Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So whenever you see that toll booth, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know. Amen. Hallelujah. That, you know, that's man set up that toll booth to charge you. Amen. For what God has given to you freely. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Say he loved this world so much that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Let's go to Psalms 40, and I'm closing. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God loved this world. He gave his only begotten son. Amen. Whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting, the eternal life. Now, y'all, uh, uh, the Gabe knows, but it's three lines, three light lines. Amen. If you, if you just look at three lines, the first line, second line, third line. Then the third line is here. This is our life. Hallelujah. They put a mark here the day you were born. They put another mark here the day you die. Hallelujah. The second line is everlasting life. The everlasting life is the life of Christ. Amen. He was born to bathe in, in, in Bethlehem. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, well, Pastor, he died. He said, no man take my life. Hallelujah. But he laid his life down. And guess what? He rose on the third day. So he has a beginning, amen, of earthly ministry, but he has no end. Hallelujah. It has no ending. Our life has a beginning, has an ending. The life of Christ has a beginning and no ending. And now on the third tier, that's the life of God. Hallelujah. That's eternal life. You, so you have life, everlasting life, eternal life. Eternal life has no beginning. Hallelujah. And has no ending. Hallelujah. It's eternal. Hallelujah. You can't clock God. You can't put a watch on God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God don't sit in time. Time sits in God. Hallelujah. God don't dwell in the universe. The universe dwells in God. God, the universe is so vast, billions and billions of, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, and, and, and galaxies, and how can God dwell in such a vast universe? Baby, you got it backwards. Hallelujah, 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 God don't dwell in this universe, the universe dwells in God, amen? amen, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, so that everlasting life brings us, amen, from our life into the life of Christ. That's why we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, because he seats, he sits on the right hand of God. Hallelujah. Speak, make an intercession for us. He's our lawyer. Hallelujah. In the courtroom. Hallelujah. Of heaven. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the devil hallelujah, is before God, cursing us day and night, tearing us down day and night. And so God and Jesus is on the other side. Hallelujah. Speaking in our behalf. Hallelujah. The Satan said they drink too much. They cuss too much. They playing numbers, God. They do this. Look what they're doing over here. They don't belong in there. The devil's over there saying, watch what he do to that child. Watch, watch what he do to that old person. Watch this. Watch this. The devil's just fussing and complaining. Hallelujah. But Jesus is sitting over there on the right side saying, my blood covers that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But they're doing that. And, but Jesus said, my blood, I die for that. Hallelujah. 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 And his blood shall never lose his power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It covers whatever you're going through. Whatever the devil's sending at you. Hallelujah. It's all right, Satan. Hallelujah. Jesus died for this. Hey, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So David understood this. Thank you, Lord. And in his struggle, in his fight, and in his constant battles, David had to battle. He must have loved his daddy's house. Hallelujah. I'm sure when he got old, hallelujah, he sure appreciated that Jesse's house. Yes. Hallelujah, because that, from the day he left Jesse's house, hallelujah, he had to run and fight. Hallelujah, and fight and run. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. From Saul, from the sons of Saul, his own children. Hallelujah, he had to run from everybody. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Other nations, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. You, and so David here in another, Lord, amen, Lord. case of, of fighting. Amen. Hallelujah. And in a precarious situation, he looks for God. Hallelujah. To work in his behalf. Yes, Amen. Lord. In Psalms 40. And he said, I what? Waited patiently. Ha oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord. And what? He inclined. He, he kneeled down. Hallelujah. Because he's too high. Hallelujah. And so he kneeled down. He inclined 
unto me. Hallelujah. And he what? Oh, that's why I pray. I don't know why you pray. I don't pray for folk to hear me. I don't like, wow, man, he so laid down a good prayer. I don't care if you like my prayer or not. Hallelujah. I ain't talking to you. Hallelujah. I'm talking to God. And the reason why I'm talking to God, I'm talking to him so I can give me an answer. I need something done about this situation. I need God to move. Hallelujah. In this situation, I'm praying for deliverance. Yes, Lord. I don't go to the bank looking for flowers. Right. Hallelujah. Right. This flower's there. Hot, looking pretty. Nice rug and everything. Right, that's not marble. Hot, and that's nice. Look pretty and cute. But I'm there for money. Hallelujah. That's why I'm there. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So when I talk to God, I'm looking for God to do something. Amen. He said, come boldly to the throne of grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we want to be cute and pretty. Especially when we're in church. All oh, Father. Amen. <laughs> Turn on God. All oh, Father. Maker of heaven and earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're trying to impress somebody here. Hallelujah. But you need to talk to God for yourself. Yeah. Hallelujah. So he said, I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God just don't stop with, amen. Hallelujah. Hearing your prayer. Look what he did in the second verse. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He brought me up. Somebody say up. Uh, How did he brought me up uh, also out of a what? Horrible oh, pit. Yeah. Oh, God, thank you. Out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my going. Not only did he pull me out of my problem, not only did he pull me out of my distress and my pain, whatever I was going through, that horrible pit, he placed me out of the miry clay. I was stuck. You ever been stuck in clay? It's hard and, yeah. and thick. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you get stuck in it, amen, it takes more than you in some cases to get you out of it. Yeah. Hallelujah. How, somebody got to pull you. Somebody don't come by. You'll be there. Amen. Hallelujah. For the rest of your life. Yeah. And he said, he brought me out of that miry clay. Yeah. Place my feet, hallelujah, upon a rock. That rock is Jesus. Yes. That solid foundation. Yes. Hallelujah. There's no other foundation. Hallelujah. That is laid. And that was already been laid. Yes. Hallelujah. Other than Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And established. Gave me purpose. Hallelujah. He didn't just pull me out of the dirt and clean me up and got me straight. Hallelujah. He gave me direction. Hallelujah. In my life, he established. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My goings. The reason why our lives are jacked up, our goings ain't established. Hallelujah. We need what we do to have meaning and purpose. Hallelujah. He established my goings. What did he do after that? Hallelujah. While I'm on my journey. Hallelujah. While I'm walking and talking with the Lord. Hallelujah. He had put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Not be scared of God. Hallelujah. But many shall see it and reverence God. I seen God bring that person out. They hung out there on the corner, hair nappy, clothes dirty, smelled bad. Hallelujah. But I seen God deliver them. Hallelujah. Bring them out of that thing. Hallelujah. Child was homeless. I saw them living in that car. Hallelujah. But God, amen, gave them a house. Gave them. Many shall see it. Hallelujah. God, will, they will see God deliver you. And they're going to give God praise. Hallelujah for your deliverance. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right, so don't worry about what you're going through. Yeah. God's going to bring you out, not just for you. That somebody see you come out of that. Hallelujah. This old song says, I'm coming out of this looking good. Hallelujah. 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 You're going to come out of it, baby. Hallelujah. You're going to be looking good. How better can you look than in God's presence? Amen. Hallelujah. When God dresses you up and clean you up and Amen. make you new. Hallelujah. He knows, he knows what to do with yes, you. Hallelujah. Yes, he do. You, he knows how to clean you up. Yeah, yeah. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust and respecteth mm -hmm. not the proud, nor such as turn aside to yeah. lies. Last verse. Many, O Lord, my God, hallelujah are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are, are to usward. They cannot be reckoned up, hallelujah, in order unto thee. Thank you, Jesus. And if I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. You've done so much for me, Lord. I cannot tell it all what you've done for me. Hallelujah. You brought me up. You lifted me up out of a horrible pit and placed my feet on a solid rock. And you did it because of your love for you loved me so much that you didn't want me in sin. That you sent Jesus Christ 
to die to be that perpetuation of sin, to die for my sins, that I might not be stuck in the rut, stuck with everything that the devil had come up against me to kill me, to, to, to destroy me, hallelujah, but I'm not worried about the devil because I have the love of Jesus Christ down on the inside of me, and that love is what's going to lift me, hallelujah, out of despair. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, Stir up the oh, gift of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 He give power to the faint. Thank and to you. them that have no might. He increases. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The joy of the Lord oh, is the strength of our salvation. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you. And if we could just oh, give him yes, praise. Thank you. Oh, like Isaac yeah. Kareem said. Hallelujah. Right there in the middle of it. Hallelujah. If you could give him praise, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right in the middle of it. Yes, Lord. Like Peter walking on the water, sinking, Lord, help me. Hallelujah. I'm sinking. I stuck out on faith. I was doing good. Hallelujah. But the circumstances got my attention. Hallelujah. And I began to sink. But your love, you reached down and pulled me out. Oh, God. Love lifted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. His love. Thank you, I think you got the message. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His love. Thank you, Lord God. When nothing else. Nothing else. Could help. Things that I did to myself. Yes. Hallelujah. Bad decisions that I made. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank Some of them you made out of love you thought was love. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. But the real thing showed up. Yes. <laughs> yes. This ain't what I signed up for. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And that's why we think I thank God. I serve the Lord because even in your mess. Yes. Amen. God's grace and mercy covers you. Amen. Grace is unmerited favor. Yes. Hallelujah. His mercy. Mercy is not for the innocent. Mercy is for the guilty. Yes. Mercy is for that person that made a mistake yes. and done wrong against God. Yes. So God's mercy covers you yes, at this point. Yes. But that, that mercy is on the timer. Yes. Grace is on the timer. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. There's going to come a time where there will be no more grace yes. and there will be no more mercy. Yeah, the law prohibited and required. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and if, if you sinned against God according to the law, you die. Mm -hmm. But God's unmerited favor of grace gives us an opportunity to, amen, repent and, and, and recompense ourselves back to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there's going to come a time when that runs out. Hallelujah. One, when Christ comes back again. Mm -hmm. Amen. But if the Lord tarry, when you leave here, that's it. They say, when you're dead, you're done. They're right in some circumstances. Mm -hmm. When you dead, that's it. That's your, that's your last chance. Yeah. And that's why I say for people that could be a suicide and different things, we can't judge really mm -hmm. unless you were there. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you don't know what those last words were. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. That last breath might have been, Father, forgive me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for what I've just done. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And, and you don't know what frame of mind they were in. Yeah. They might not have been in their right mind. Hallelujah. You can't condemn somebody that's not in their right mind. Amen. Hallelujah. PTSD and different uh, traumatic things, rape and different things have happened to people. Amen. And attacks have happened that traumatize and they're stuck in that moment. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. 20 years later, they're still stuck in that moment. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And so it's, it's a traumatic thing. So we're not here to judge them. Amen. How did we here to pray for them and help to move them out and love? Guess what's going to lift them? Love. 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 I tell folks, somebody, like, I don't know what to do. I, I go in the house and I go, you don't want that preaching? Amen. Go take out the trash. Bring a cake. You know, feed them. Do something practical. Amen. Because their life is blown up. Their life is crazy right now. They need to back to some regular life. Amen. Amen. Back to the rigaments of life. Amen. 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 So do something practical. Amen. Hallelujah. Clean the house. Sweep the floor. Do something nice. Amen. Amen. You got to be Paul. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, come in. Well, God says everything going to. No, man. They just lost the child or whatever, the baby or whatever. Amen. Just go in and help. Amen. 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 Minister. Amen. 
Amen. When we say when the Bible said the angel ministered, Amen. When the raven ministered and Christ did, the angels ministered. They they served Jesus. Amen. That's what a minister is—a servant. Amen. So go serve. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. That'll help them more than anything else. And if they if they really questioning some things, they'll tell you. They'll open up and say, "Why did God?" And and, and then you can talk to them. Amen. 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 We thank God for His blessing. Amen. Come on, give God praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. You here today? You desire prayer, whatever it may be. You want to give Christ your life. Amen. If there's Amen, uh, stuck in the rut or whatever it may be. Hallelujah. I'm just letting you know. If you got the word, you should be coming out of that anyway. Before I pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, God will deliver you and set you free. He came that you may have a life and have it more abundantly. We live in for our privilege, saints. Hallelujah. We stuck. Things come up against us. It hurts. Amen. We cry. Amen. Hallelujah. But we shouldn't be stuck in that. Amen. Give it a moment. Amen. Don't move too fast, like I said, because it's traumatic. And if, if you're not careful, you're, even believers will be stuck in that moment. So, so, so hurt when it hurts. Amen. But move past it. Yes. And don't let that govern your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So you're making decisions based on that moment. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now it's ruling your life. Yes. It has taken control over your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Y'all know that the terrorists have been there. I'm going to go outside because if I don't, the terrorists will win. I'm going to go shopping. And, amen. That's, there's something to be said about that. Amen. You don't let it govern your life. Yes. But you don't take it too far. Amen. amen. But you don't let it govern your life. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. God, we just thank you for your blessings. Yes. We ask your blessings upon your people. Yes. We thank you for lifting us out of sin and amen, danger and toils and snares and more tragedies everywhere. God, we just thank you for your blessings. And we ask you, bless, touch, and live and make a way out of the way. Open doors that seem closed. Bless our heart and our mind. Those that don't have the Holy Ghost, fill them with the power of the Holy Ghost. Your divine love, the Spirit of God down on the inside of us. Bless, touch, and deliver. Make a way out of the open doors that seem closed. Bless us and keep us as a, as God people. Lord God, hallelujah. Lift us from despair. Hallelujah. With your love. These and all blessed we ask in Jesus' name I pray. Everybody say amen. amen. Come on, put your hands together one more time and give God praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Love lifted me. I know it lifted me. But where I was at, <laughs> I just thank God. I thank God for his love, his grace, and his mercy. Um, I just thank God because I didn't know what love was until I came to Agape. Sometimes I say I wish that um, I had been taught on love a long time ago. Maybe I would have been saved earlier to know that how much God really loved me and what he did for me, that I would have life and I would have it more abundantly and an everlasting life. Yeah. He came so that I, I won't have to die, that I can live eternally. Yeah. And that is love. And no one on this earth can do that for you. So the love of this world is not of God. Yeah. It's only that agape love, and it only comes from God. So I just I thank God for his love. Thank you, Lord. At this time, we're going to ask you to this time we're going to ask you to um, it's time, another part of worshiping is the part of to giving to God, and what I do I like to ask God, what is it that he would have me to give you know, I've um, been into services where they say, God said give this and God said give that I seek him. It says, acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he shall direct your path. So I ask him, Lord, what would you have me to give? Mm -hmm. And when you do it that way, then you know you're doing what God would have you to do. So I just ask you to stand, and we're going to give to the Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done for us, Lord God. We thank you for this time, Lord God. We thank you for your love, Lord God. We thank you for that word that ministered to us, Lord God. Oh, Father, we thank you, Father, for all that you have blessed us with. 
And Lord God, we ask you, Father, to continue to make us good stewards over what you have given us. Everything on this earth belongs to you, Lord God, and you are loving enough to bless us with it. So we give back to you for the building of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank <laughs> you. 
done for us. So much to be thankful. You deserve the praise, the glory, and the honor. All that's good and perfect comes from God. Thank you, Lord. He loves us. Yes. Ain't that an awesome God? Yes. That's an awesome God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. And now we're going to do our church litany. I want you to look in your programs again. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. First, we're going to do our church vision. And we're going to sing, say it together. The church vision. The body of Christ fitly joined together in love. Ephesians 4, 15, 16. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working and the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying itself in love. The church mission, to reach the world with the love of Jesus Christ. John 3, 16, 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God, God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, that the world through him might be saved. Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose from, from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost. I believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. And at this time, I want to ask if any of our guests is here today would like to have a word. Yes. Well, I just thank God for being here today. I thank God for the pastor. Thank God for my niece, B. I thank God for waking me up this morning. And I had planned on going to church with my friend, but anyway, she called and said she wasn't going because of the weather. So D had asked me last night to come here. And I said, well, you know, I got to go to church. Amen. I got to go to church. I cannot stay out of church. I got to go to church because I was raised up in the church. And when I don't go to church, I just don't feel right. Amen. So I thank God. And God have blessed me uh, in my business, I thank God for this because I started off with nothing, and that's 32 years to 27 of this month. Amen. And uh, 31 years, I've been in business for 31 years, and Amen. I tell you, that's been a long time. God is good. It's been God, is good. God brought me through, and good. I thank God for healing my body. Because I was very ill about 30 years ago. I had eaten some Chinese food and I had a camera reaction to MSD. And the doctors couldn't help me and they said they couldn't do me any good. 
So, I mean, I, I, I just was, I couldn't walk. I would fall out. I just, it, I was in bad shape. And a friend of mine told me about this nutrition. And I was out of work for a whole year. And in this nutrition, helped me and got me going. I was back at work in two months. And I thank God he brought me back. Amen. I thank God for being such a good God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Yes, he is. Okay. Well, I found myself here uh, because uh, I promised the lady that I was going to be in the church this morning. Amen. <laughs> and and that's, that's a small as that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm grateful that this church serves a minister. God today for Mr. Mrs. Stanley for coming out today and worshiping with us at Agape and we hope to see you both again as God leads you to come. Amen. 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 I'm going to turn the service over back into the hands of my pastor in Jesus name. Amen. We just thank God for like I said the opportunity just for to share God's word to mm -hmm. whoever will listen. Amen. Amen. And we just thank God for you today coming out and, and those that are listening and viewing. Um, and we just thank God for his blessings today. Amen. Amen. And know that God will lift you up uh, to wherever you need to be. Amen. God will lift you up there. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And so, and we want to sit in prayer for my mother who wasn't feeling well. Amen. Amen. And uh, the Miller family who dealing with illness as well. Amen. They couldn't make it out. We pray for all the families of Agape. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We love to have them here. Amen. But we understand the circumstances. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And a lot of people, amen, was fearful. Amen. Hallelujah. So we have to be careful. Amen. When you're trying to give people information that you don't instill fear on people as opposed to trying to give them information as to how cold it's going to get. Amen. You start saying Arctic blasts, amen, and, and, and polar vortexes, and amen, using this terminology, amen. We're not in the North Pole, amen, hallelujah. But they're saying North Pole air is coming down to us, amen, hallelujah. So that might make people fear. You tell the people you can't be outside longer than 10 minutes. Your skin might be exposed and you might get frostbite. And so people might get fearful. Amen. Hallelujah. But we've been around a while. Amen. We've been in cold air a while. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Even north of up here. Amen. They got hats and blankets and stuff. Amen. Hallelujah. You can put on. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. You be careful now. I mean, don't take it light, but amen. Just dress accordingly. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And don't let nothing stop you from your praise. Amen. Amen. But we're just grateful to those that, amen. And we pray for those that, that couldn't make it out and those in hospitals and institutions and um, praying for Sister Colts, amen, of course, amen, and, amen, and praying for all those sick and shut in all over, amen, and keep us in prayer, keep the ministry in prayer um, in Jesus' name, and we want to, amen, press on as, as God has required us to do. We have to do what God tells us, amen.
Amen. Amen. Can't do what we want. We got to do what God tells us to do. And his truth is marching on. Amen. His truth is marching on. Amen. And we just thank God for you. Amen. We want you to sit in prayer with us every Tuesday. is our noonday prayer. Amen. You can call our conference call number and hear prayer on Tuesdays. Amen. At 12 noon Wednesday night is our Bible class. Amen. We're going through the Bible verse by verse, scripture by scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. Chapter by chapter, book by book. Amen. Hallelujah. So we just thank God uh, for that journey, taking it with the saints of God. Amen. And every Sunday, amen, we meet here at 11 a.m. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Next Sunday is Pastoral Sunday. Amen. So, amen, one of the members will be, amen, one of our preachers, my mother, I believe, Mother Fields, will be speaking next Sunday morning. Amen. And we're looking for a high time. Amen. In Jesus' name. First Sunday is our rally Sunday. And I'm asking all the saints of God, amen, we rally and amen, marching for agape, amen. And so those that want to be a part of that rally, I'm not putting a number on that either, amen, what God, amen, is laying on your heart to give, amen, to establish this ministry and keep it going. We going to, our, our theme for this year is evangelism, amen, and so we want to get out and knock on doors and do different things. Amen. For the ministry, we're already working on getting the flyers and the different things, that, the products, the goods and services. And so the more that we get blessed, the more we're able to do. We can do direct mailing. We can do a lot of different type of advertising if we have the funds to do so. Amen. So what you give is going toward the evangelism for the year. Amen. Hallelujah. And how we get to promote this ministry and Christ himself. We're not trying to fill up agape. We're trying to fill up heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. That's our goal. We're working for the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be impressed with packing this place out. They don't take much to pack it out. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, uh, we want to fill up heaven. We'll say, Lord, there's just too many people up here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to send some folk to heaven. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Love lifted us. We want to let it lift up some other folk. That's right. Amen. 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 So that first Sunday, I have some envelopes on the table if you want to get one. Amen. And just, amen. People want to glean in or whatever you want to do. And then bring it on the first Sunday. Amen. To, amen. For our rally on first Sunday. Amen. 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 And pray for the success of that, that we may do what we need to do as a ministry. And so amen. we just thank God for you. Amen. It's Black History Month. Amen. And we just thank God for it's time for us to make history. Amen. I didn't get a chance to finish my poem. I had a poem, amen, called Black History. And, and it basically said, amen, Black History, our legacy of kings and pharaohs and amen, hallelujah, uh, and, 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 and Harry Tubman and, and, and Martin Luther King and uh, current history with Barack Obama. I said, but blacks will be history if we just rest on the laurels of our past and rest on, amen, what was done in the past. This is our time now to make history. Black history should be made now. Yes. Amen. Right. With us here now. Amen. 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 <laughs> Black history shouldn't just be Harriet Tubman. That's amen. Right. That was the gist of the poem. Amen. Black history shouldn't be just Harriet Tubman and, and Nat Turner. Amen. Yeah. And, and black history should be the history you are making now, amen. running the stores. Amen. Got a business going. Amen. That's black history for 32 amen. years. That's history amen. being made. Amen. 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 Martin Luther King was not appreciated like he is in it today. Amen. If we had given him them flowers, he might have went on a little bit further. Amen. Yes. He was killed. No, but he wouldn't have took so many risks. Amen. Because he would have understood his, his place. Amen. But he was vilified. Why? He, but from blacks and everyone else, not just the CIA and FBI and everybody. Amen. Even black people was giving him a hard way to go. He wasn't as militant as Malcolm. Amen. And so, and so they gave him a hard way to go. Amen. Nonviolence wasn't the answer. Amen. He learned from Mahatma Gandhi. Amen. Out of India, who, who, who rallied against the British. Amen. Amen. Who protested the British rule of India. Amen. And so, uh, 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 <laughs> we need to honor, amen, these people that are doing the hard work now. Amen. And appreciate what they do. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So, history is not just black history of the past. It's history of what we're doing today. Amen. amen. God, we making history. Amen. 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 What you do, let it make history. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And want to ask you to stand at this time as we prepare for dismissal.
Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for the people. We thank you for our friends and family and well wishes and visitors. We thank you, God, for those that are listening. We don't even know the, amen, who they are, but we just thank you for those that are tuned in to, amen, our conference call ministry and Agape Web TV. We just thank you, God, for all those, amen, that are hearing a word that will change their life. Lift them, Lord God. Hallelujah. Bring us out of despair. Bring us out of poverty. Bring us, Lord God, out of pain, Lord God. Hallelujah. Heal your people from the crown of their heads to the sole of our feet, Lord God. Bless, touch, and deliver, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, let us not rest on our Lords, but make history. This is our moment. This is our time. Hallelujah. You said in Isaiah, rise, shine, for your light has come. For the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. It's your time. This is your moment. Hallelujah. To shine. And we ask you to bless, touch, and deliver. Make a way out of nowhere. Open doors that seem closed. Bless your people everywhere. Help us to show love one toward another. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good and show love to God's people. Hallelujah. Even those that are lost and in despair. Lord God, you didn't call them to be lost and in despair. You call them, hallelujah, that they may have life and have it more abundantly. So we send a word to them to lift them, Lord God. Help somebody to condescend to men of low estate and lift them up out of their burden. Hallelujah. And share the love of Jesus Christ that they may be saved and delivered and set free by the power of God. All those in hospitals, institutions, prison wards, Lord God. Hallelujah. Those that are out in these elements, Lord God. Somebody that don't have a house. They're living in cars or in a park and some in this frigid weather, Lord God. And we ask, Lord God, that you you cover them in the name of Jesus. Bless, touch, and deliver. Make a way out of the way. Open doors that seemingly close. These and all bless we ask in Jesus Christ's name. I pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Our closing scripture. Amen. The benediction. Lift those hands to the Lord. First Timothy 1.17. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape Way. God bless you.
when you second guess my answer when you ask me a question. That gets me angry every single time because uh, why did you ask me? <laughs> yeah, I asked him. There you go. He gave me the answer. And there you go. And I saw him. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> that drives me absolutely bonkers. <laughs> it, it does. does. <laughs> And I, it do it all, it, and I do it, it all the time. Like and then I tell them I would never doubt you again. And I do it again. It drives you bonkers. But but it's just how people, and I've done it. I've done the same exact same thing. You ask people questions and you don't agree with the answer. You don't. And you don't like you know what you want. You want somebody to, to validate what you what you want and to say, okay, it's gonna be all right. And some some guys, some churches will do that. As long as you give them that tithes and offering. They tell you whatever you want to hear, you know, you know, and so it's, it's not about telling you what's right. That's a man of God. He's gonna tell you what's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get your base. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you when you was about thirteen. That mm. was real thin. That way you like a hundred. I probably was too. I think yeah, but thin. but you probably don't remember me. I used to attend it when I first came in this area. I probably do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, uh, I attended for quite some time, but you was about maybe twelve. I remember your mom, your mom used to bring you and your sisters in the church. Yes, she did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember. Around that time, we started, we started, you know, coming on our own. Oh, okay. We were sneaking up in the church. Oh, okay. Yeah, we was, we was excited to come to church. Yeah, I remember you very well. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your, what's your last name? Kenny. Kenny? Kenny. So where did you grow up at? Uh, I grew up in Washington. Where at in Washington? Where at in South East? Mm-hmm. I don't know where that is. Is that near the Marine Barracks, I Street, 10th Street? Oh, we grew up on 10th Street in D.C. Yeah. You got a great memory if you remember back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we grew up on um, uh, 747 10th Street, the big building that was in the middle of the block, right across from John Tyler Elementary. Mm-hmm. You know what John Tyler Elementary School is? We, we grew up in that big apartment building right in the middle of that block, uh, 747 10th Street, mm-hmm. right around from the Marine Barracks, right off High School. Mm-hmm. So maybe you used to come around there. Maybe that's what it was. Man, you got a great memory. Ain't no way in the world I would remember. <laughs> <laughs> you got a great memory. If you remember back then, maybe my sisters and everything else might know Jetty and Toby in there. Probably Jetty. Everybody remembers Jetty. You, you know, forget her. <laughs> <laughs> what she need her? <laughs> my baby sister. I, don't, I never knew that name. Yeah. But uh, I just remember them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Jetty was a baby. And I, and I and I couldn't place your mom <laughs> until yesterday she came to the shop. Then you saw her. And I said, uh uh-uh. yeah, yeah, I she know. Was in church. <laughs> she was in church, you know. Yeah. She wasn't on, she wasn't in the corner nowhere. Oh no. <laughs> she was she been involved in church her whole life. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's yeah. good. When you when you when you when you working in church, people know who you are. Mm-hmm. You over in the corner hiding. You mm-hmm. come to church, clock in, clock out, go home. Nobody knows who you are. Yeah. That's what people like that church. church. Big church. <laughs> Making this clock in, yeah. clock out. Nobody yeah. even know your name. Now, you know? people go to them churches mm-hmm. for that reason. Mm-hmm. But they don't want to tell. They don't want nobody in their business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but for God's business, though. Oh, see, that's the thing with it. We hide from folk, but the one that you really need yeah. <laughs> to get it right with, and he see you every day. He see yeah. everything you do. Well, thank you guys so much oh, for coming out. Know. And I pray that you heard something that helped you oh, yes, down the I road a lot. And, and you're welcome anytime. And uh, uh, Missionary Thomas, Minister Thomas, is our women's leader. Mm-hmm. So, you know, anything that you need to connect. Minister Miller is our, is our men's leader. Is our men's leader. So, you know, if you need to dial next to the men or you need to do an event you're doing, you're doing, he has his number. He can give you forward his number. If you, if you can talk to me anytime if you want to talk, you know, or anything like that. Just be open. Same thing with uh, Brother. Anything you need, you got. program. Yeah, you can call that number. If you got any questions or anything, you need advice or whatever the case may be. I know that man right there, so I might say something.
on the same stuff he said. I had people in the church, in the department ahead, mm -hmm. if they wanted to do something, a project in the church, they would come to me first. Mm -hmm. So they knew how, I, I knew how he would say, what he would say to them. Mm -hmm. So they would come and practice with me and then go with the I said, Mr. Robert will ask you three questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, if you get to that third question, <laughs> you mm -hmm. might have a chance. <laughs> but he's gonna ask you about three questions. And if he don't ask you anything, you, it's done. <laughs> you ain't got a shot. Because he don't agree with it. But, but if, if it's a good idea, he'll say, he'll ask the first question, and then the, and based on your answer, he mm -hmm. ask the second question, mm -hmm. and the third question is whether it's gonna go or not. That's that third question. Well, I remember, <laughs> I mean, he, he often, Wise he's gone on, Wise but man. I think about that all the time. Wise what man. he said to me. He told me not to do something I did it to. We said, wait till I come back and let me talk to you about it. Mm -hmm. And while he was gone, I was like, mm -hmm, and I went on and did it anyway. Yeah. What's the second one? Yeah, great wisdom. Yes, great he did. Yes, wisdom. he did. Yes, great he did. Great wisdom. Yes, he did. Great wisdom. Yes, he did. Great wisdom. Mm -hmm. He knew what Like when Moses went up on the mount, mm -hmm. every time Bishop had an encounter where he could get off by himself and you know and get with God, his hair would get white. Wasn't it, Pastor? His conscience would his conscience would get white, and then he would just get bright. Mm -hmm. Whenever he came back from the meeting mm -hmm. with the vengeance and stuff, he was man, he was fired up. Man, mm -hmm. he would tear that place up. Mm -hmm. But he was a powerful.
Get up on the equipment. I don't believe that. Yeah, you come down with me, you come to the game. Okay. 